I just spilled that entire thing. One sec. All right, we're good to go. So, this channel has been laying dormant for a little bit, and that's kind of for a couple of reasons. Primarily, I don't know how to edit videos, and I really struggle with that whole process. It's super time consuming, and I just don't really have the desire or the headspace or the time to learn this entire new skill. Um, so for that reason, I've kind of decided to take a step back and really reanalyze what I want to do. And I decided I'm not here to put out picture perfect content. There's so many other channels that are fully capable of doing that and very talented when it comes to it. I'm an 18 year old kid with a lot to say and a lot to do and have no idea where I'm going. So I kind of wanted to bring you guys along the journey with me. So for intro, my name is Q. Some people call me Kuda. Some people call me Quaid. I really don't care what you call me. I'm an 18 year old barista. I live in Arizona and I currently am employed by Scooter's Coffee. But that's changing. And that's the big news I'm here to share today. So sit back, relax. Let's get into this. Now, I've been a barista at Scooter's Coffee for my entire career. I did work at a little offshoot kind of bar type thing in Kentucky when I was there for school. It was called Lexington Coffee Tree. It was super cool, um, but I only did like three shifts there. It was more of a bar than it was a barista type thing and more, more than a coffee, coffee bar. So um, I kind of politely declined the uh, invitation to join the staff full time. And on top of that, I was playing college volleyball and I was a full-time student and I just didn't have much for that. Um, Coffee has been in my life since I since I can remember. Um, I have a whole article written about me that I'll share in the link below if you really wanna get my full story. Um, but needless to say, it pretty much started when I was 14 years old and I walked into a coffee bean and a tea leaf with no idea what espresso was. Flash forward a few years from then, um, I've hooked up with Nicely from Minotti's Coffee uh, in Venice and Hollywood and he has got one, one other location. Uh, I follow very closely with Baca's stuff. Um, I love James Hoffman and I'm pretty much a full-blown coffee nerd to the point where I do have barista tattooed on me. Um, I love this shit. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is the passion that I have, the career that I've chosen. And um, I've decided in a lot of it that I'm not going to go back to school. Uh, I'm going to do some school online. I'm not moving back to Kentucky. And the big reason is because I just got a new job and I'm super stoked about it. Now, Scooters was the corporation that gave me my jump into being a commercial barista, right? So I wasn't just doing this stuff at home anymore. I was taking my skills, my talents, my desire to learn over into an actual business and trying to make profit on it. And I absolutely loved it. Uh, Scooters is a very big chain in like Nebraska, Iowa, kind of that part of the Americas. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty much their Starbucks over there. It's, it's huge. So we have five locations in Arizona. I worked at two of them owned by the same people and I absolutely loved it, man. They treated me very well. Um, I always came to work with a smile on my face. I loved my employees. I say my employees like I owned it. No, I loved my fellow coworkers. Um, and it was just awesome, dude. I was able to uh, learn a lot there, really expand my horizons when it came to coffee. The only issue was it was second wave, you know? So I'm getting more orders that involve a plethora of different syrups and I'm making Red Bull drinks and smoothies and snow cones and you fucking name it, we were doing it. I wasn't making a lot of lattes. I wasn't making a lot of Americanos. Nobody ever ordered a flat white except the occasional dude from Washington. But it was okay because I got to pull shots and I got to make people happy doing what I love. And that was the most important thing to me. So... As of yesterday, I decided to terminate my employee, uh, my employment, terminate my employment with uh, Scooter's Coffee, and I am now a barista at Desert Eagle Coffee. Desert Eagle is really tight. It is also a second wave, lots of syrups, lots of everything else, um, but the owners are very coffee and coffee, green buying, and roasting centered, focused forward. You know, they're great business people. They value their employees a lot, and uh, I kind of got the job on accident. And after having a four and a half interview with uh, both of the owners and them offering to teach me how to roast, I really couldn't say no. Um, I'm super stoked on this because this is a huge part of the career that I'm lacking. I know very little about green buying. I know even less about roasting. I've seen a roaster in person once. Um, I've never seen one on, running, besides YouTube videos. I've never seen green coffee in my life. And uh, hopefully this new job is going to expand my horizons on that and really educate me when it comes to things on this market that I don't know a lot about. 
Um, eventually in my life, I would like to own my own business. Um, not sure where, not sure how, not sure what or who with. Um, I do have a business partner. He'll be here in a couple of weeks. We're hoping to shoot some footage in Northern Arizona, in the Tempe area, coffee crawling, and uh, just kind of bringing you guys along. So um, to preface this, man, expect a lot more content coming out of me, whether it comes from the car shows at Desert Eagle every Friday night, or uh, me just working on bar, talking about learning how to roast, and uh, really experiencing the struggles of being an up-and-coming barista. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are down for this. And uh, yeah, I'm Kuda. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.